Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Well, this week's installment of Endangered Indiana takes us to a small town in Benton County, where the state's first and oldest community mausoleum is still standing. But the National Register listed structure built in 1908 faces an uphill battle with each passing season. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond has more from Oxford. They were once called mansions of the dead. Beginning in the early 20th century, community mausoleums became all the rage in cities and towns across Indiana. The community mausoleum movement really promoted this type of structure as an efficient, uh, more sanitary form of burial and oftentimes more affordable. The community mausoleum concept, though, started in Ohio. A gentleman by the name of William Hood who patented a community mausoleum design, started the National Mausoleum Company, and then began to sort of peddle uh, this design around the Midwest. The move towards burial actually kind of becoming a business. The Oxford Community Mausoleum is the first community mausoleum to have been constructed in Indiana, finished in 1908. From this, a number of other communities had community mausoleums built. Now time for a peek inside. An unlock of the gates and a step through the arched opening, your eyes can't help but be drawn up to the vaulted glass ceiling. Lining the walls from top to bottom are four rows of Italian marble slabs. Just behind them, the crypts that house the deceased. Nearly half of the dearly departed in the Oxford Community Mausoleum were actually born before the Civil War, like William Bell Fuller, born in 1838. Each marble cover with its own story to tell. The twin. They were both in the same wicker casket. And it was wrapped in velvet and it was, looked like it was brand new when I took them out. We want to see the building brought back into a solid condition, uh, preserve it, ensure that it continues to function as a mausoleum, a respectful burial place for all the, those already here uh, and those that may be uh, interred here in the future. Also inside, the original ladder dating back to 1908 and a sign bearing the name of the mausoleum's original owner. It's not reach that point of, of real deterioration, but we are starting to see rehabilitation needs, repairing uh, the plaster, making repairs to the roof, repairing exterior masonry. I was not aware that those blue glass tiles were there, so when it was pointed out to me, I thought, well, that's special enough in itself just to be a reason to do this, this project, because you just don't find that. In, in, especially in something as simple as this project where it's basically got one purpose, you know, of being a, a mausoleum, but yet it's got some beauty with it too. So it, it's, it's just nice to bring it back to life. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.